Uh, hey everybody, my name is Kiana, and I really like volunteering, so that's why I think I should be a good person for this role. I am actually currently in a volunteering club called CKI, and we do a lot of good for the community, especially the Asian American community down in International District, so I bring a lot of that over here, which I think would be really cool. And I like volunteering because it brings people together, so that would be my goal here. I want to like bring people together to like do good around the community. And yeah, I have a ton of ideas, so if you have any questions about them, let me know. Uh, hi, my name is Kevin. Uh, I'm also running for community service chair. I think I'd be pretty good um, for like, and I really enjoy volunteering too. Um, why I want to be in this position is because, first of all, like the board this year, they were really good. They really accepted me knowing that I wasn't Filipino. And I really want to show that same love to like the next year's students. Also, volunteering, I feel like, is super important in my life, like not having so much super like a lot of money growing up, like I had to really depend on like, just like I remember like driving to like food banks and having to like pick up a box and it was, it was, yeah. But like it's super important. I also feel like volunteering is, oh, it's like a double-sided kind of knife. Like that's a terrible analogy, but like you help the person, but also at the same time you're helping yourself because you're really like, you get to learn about others, you're building connections. And I really feel like I want to do that. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. The reason why I'm running for your next community service board member is because ever since high school I've been a part of NHS and youth advisory boards and I believe that giving back to the community is essential and by doing these events we could also get closer as a club together because we're doing them together and some of the events that I've thought of are clothing drives, food drives, or even partnering with the Filipino community with these events. Thank you! For you guys, is like, what kind of community service events do you guys wish to hold as chair? And like, how would you make uh, those events like, very fun and very interesting for members to like, participate in? Uh, I want to do events that include people actually going out, but I know it isn't super possible for everyone to like, be free on like one specific day and if it's like a super like late given of a date I know it's super hard so I was thinking more like what Rachel said more like food banks more like clothing drives like things that can be done over a longer span of time instead of like one specific time where everyone has to go um, to make it more interesting I would have to say like volunteering is like super helpful and once you like start getting into it I would say it's like you go back to it, but like to get that first start, I would probably like tell, maybe like get a few people to go, and then like just like tell them to like kind of spread the word, kind of because they'll like spread about how fun it was, and then more people will come, and it'll be like it'll be slow, but I think you'll have like good results. Um, I was also gonna say like do like long term things on campus, but also try to bring out like things around the community as well. And like you said, it is hard to get people to go out there. So I was thinking of maybe reaching out to other clubs as well, like CKI or other like Asian American culture clubs or just culture clubs in general. So we can get like a ton of people from everywhere. So hopefully the group will get bigger. And also maybe like if we're going out to do an event, like an international district cleanup, which is what I've done before, um, we can make a day of it and make it like a whole bonding experience. Like, you know, maybe convince people to go with like a boba trip after or something because after you do volunteering once like Kevin said it is like it's kind of like a drug you get hooked on it like you want to do it more and more because it's such a fun thing to do and giving back to the community is like really rewarding in of itself so I think having that first push to get people to do it will really break the like stigma of like oh maybe they don't want me to go or like maybe I'm too nervous to like actually step out there because I won't know as many people but overall in the end you will get to know each other and the community as well. That's the goal. Okay, your next question is, with everyone's schedules, how do you plan on recruiting members to help out with volunteer events? Oh, uh, it's me again. Sorry. Um, can I have the question again? Sorry. With everyone's schedules, how do you plan on recruiting members to help out with volunteer events? 
Um, probably give them more time. I know it's hard to like make time. Like if I tell make an event too late, it'll be harder for everyone. But like if I give more time, like in like probably like a month or two, people can like adjust their schedule slightly, or like and it'll be easier. Um, yeah, I think that would be how I would resolve that issue. Yeah, and also like um, that, and also like reaching out to a wider range of people. Like this club is already super big, but I know that eventually like towards the middle of the corner, quarter, it kind of dies down. So maybe I'm hoping of like making emails if I can, like making my own emails, sending them out to people whenever a new event comes up and trying to like get more traction out there. Cause I know there's a lot more people on the email seeing it than like people in clubs sometimes because not everybody can show up to all of it. So hopefully that way we can get more people out there. Okay, your last question is, how will you find community service events to participate in? And, or, <coughs> I don't know. And ideally, how often would you want to invite gen members? I can go on this one, because I feel like I've been you go first. Hold on. Um, so actually, I've been, like during all of the gen meetings, I've been kind of keeping note of what um, Chris has noted before and also what other members have brought up so like um, the archive I think the Filipino archive in Seattle I was like oh it would be cool to like reach out to the person that runs that see if they need any help or like just reach out to people around the community in general like I know um, reaching out to CKI could be a really big help volunteering wise because there's they specialize in volunteering and I know I keep bringing them up but I'm like they're super useful for this kind of stuff community service um, I could see what they have um, in terms of like helping out around the community. And I know it's really hard to find like specifically Filipino volunteering opportunities in Seattle, so I'm hoping to reach out to like my own family members, see if they know anybody that needs help, because I know Filipino families are big, so like they probably know someone that needs help. And maybe if any of you guys have any volunteer opportunities, I'd be happy to like take them in, spread the word around, and hopefully we can make like a big thing of it, and like get other people to come and for the getting other gen members to come, like the emailing idea, or maybe just like getting public relations on it and like having them post about it a little bit more as well, like connecting with other people on the officer board, because it's not just like one solitary thing. I think it's like a giant team effort to try to make this kind of stuff happen. So that would be my strategy for that. Yeah, um, as she said, Finding opportunities is like super hard to find, but also like we're part of the Asian American community, so we can like ask other clubs, and if possible, we can also like we're part of NW FASA. We can totally ask around there. Like when you're U Dub, U Dub, lots of people. I feel like it might be easier with them. Like we could help them find them, and we could also work together. And yeah, I also kind of she kind of said everything that I thought of too. That's okay. All right, so for the community service questions, one of them is with everyone's schedules, how do you plan on recruiting members to help out with volunteer events? Um, since everyone does have a busy schedule, I think I will be, I'll do my best to like um, place it into the weekends or like days. Um, that people don't have the most work or like it's not in like the midterm era of like school or like finals as well so it makes sure it's like everyone's free type of thing or like not even like in the long weekends because everyone likes to do something fun but also I think it would be great to make sure that people are there by sending out kind of availability to make sure what days are the most available for most of our members so we can so we know if they could make it or not, or like they just don't want to come, or like just stuff like that to make sure that we have the most amount of members who want to participate in community events. Yeah, and the second question is, how will you find community service events to participate in? And ideally, how often would you want to invite GEN members? Um, to find community events, I think I would start looking just like based on like, our Seattle 
um, university community to see if anyone else needs help or like even like looking up other um, Filipino organizations in Seattle because I saw one like the Filipino Center for, um, for in Seattle and like we could um, help collaborate with them because I saw that we could do like tutoring kids as well or um, helping out with meals because that seems a very fun and engaging thing that our gen members could do and it really like pushes people to like um, also like want to make a difference and something cool that they could also do with their friends.